Evening. Guten Abend. Let us open with prayer. Lass uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in Heaven. Lieber Vater im Himmel. Thank you that we can open your word again. Danke, dass wir wieder dein Wort öffnen können. And thank you that you uh, always want to uh, give us a deeper understanding of your word. Und danke, dass du uns immer ein tieferes Verständnis von deinem Wort geben möchtest. And uh, you say uh, your people uh, do not know your judgments. Und du sagst, dass dein Volk deine Gerichte nicht kennt. Lord, therefore we ask you to please explain it to us. Deswegen bitten wir dich, dass du es uns doch erklärst. And that uh, also this evening worship uh, can contribute to a better understanding of it. Und dass diese Abendandacht auch dazu beitragen kann, kann dass wir es besser verstehen. Lord, we ask that you would uh, unfold these things to us. Herr, wir bitten, dass du diese Dinge uns entfaltest. Because you are the only one who can really make us understand these things. Weil du bist der Einzige, der uns wirklich helfen kann, diese Dinge zu verstehen. So, uh, show mercy now to us, please. Deswegen zeig uns jetzt bitte Erbarmen. And help us. Und hilf uns. And we ask and pray all this in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Okay, so <coughs> I posted the notes in the live stream group. Ich habe die Notizen in der live stream Gruppe gepostet. And this evening we want to look at the judgment in its order. Und heute Abend wollen wir uns das Gericht und seine Reihenfolge anschauen. And uh, Brother Mark, he went through with us, especially through Daniel 7, where we looked at the judgment. And Brother Mark is with us, besonders durch Daniel 7 gegangen, wo wir das Gericht gesehen haben. But also in the other chapters of Daniel, you could see the different phases of the judgment illustrated. Aber auch in Daniel, um, in den anderen uh, Kapiteln von Daniel 7 konnte man diese verschiedenen Phasen des Gerichts sehen. Andere Kapitel von Daniel. Uh, in den anderen Kapiteln von Daniel. Yeah. Okay, so. <coughs> And this evening I just want to um, look at what takes place in the investigative judgment and also what takes place in the final review. Okay. Und heute Abend möchte ich anschauen, was im Untersuchungsgericht stattfindet und auch was in der finalen Untersuchung stattfindet. So, because we have here um, this pattern for instance, right? Weil hier haben wir zum Beispiel dieses Muster. The investigative judgment and then the final review. Das Untersuchungsgericht und dann die finale Untersuchung. And um, we saw this for instance in Daniel chapter 1, we can maybe turn there. Und das haben wir zum Beispiel in Daniel 1 gesehen. Da können wir hingehen. Daniel chapter 1. Daniel 1. And it begins in verse 1 with the third year of Joachim. Es fängt in Vers 1 mit dem dritten Jahr von Joachim an. And this was the year when he was taken captive. Und das war das Jahr, in dem er gefangen genommen wurde. It says, in the third year of the reign of Joachim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. So here is the siege of Jerusalem, that's the sign, right? Hier ist die Belagerung von Jerusalem, das ist das Zeichen. So it's the, the sixth plague, right? Das ist die sechste Plage. Okay, so this is where this chapter begins. Da fängt dieses Kapitel an. And then we know he takes some children captive. Und wir wissen, dann nimmt er einige Kinder gefangen. Among other things, Daniel and his friends. Unter anderem Daniel und seine Freunde. In verse 5. In Vers 5. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. So three years they were to eat this king's meat. Drei Jahre lang sollten sie diese Königsspeise essen. And at the end thereof they were to stand before the king. Und am Ende davon sollten sie vor den König stehen. But then Daniel asked uh, not to eat this king's meat, but to eat pots. Right? Aber dann hat Daniel danach gefragt, nicht diese Königsspeise zu essen, sondern das diese Hülsenfrüchte. So then they got proved 10 days. Dann wurden sie 10, 10 Tage lang geprüft. So jump down to verse 14 to 16 please. Jetzt geht zu Vers 14 bis 16. It says, so he consented to them in this matter and proved them 10 days. And at the end of 10 days their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat uh, the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzer took away the portion of the meat and the wine that 
they should drink and gave them pulse. So this is what we looked at, right? So it's this investigative judgment after the 10 days. Das haben wir uns angeschaut. Das ist das Untersuchungsgericht nach den 10 Tagen. So, these 10 days here. Es gibt diese 10 Tage. At the end of it, you get investigated. Am Ende davon wirst du untersucht. And then he takes away the king's meat. Right? Und dann nimmt er die Königsspeise weg. Okay, so, and then... What do you receive? Was erhältst du dann? Verse 17. Vers 17. And as for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding and all visions and dreams. So this is now the letter ring, right? Das ist jetzt der Spätring. So, and then it says in verse 18. Und in Vers 18 sagt es. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. So that's now at the end of the Three years, right? jetzt am Ende der drei Jahre. Now they stand before the king. Jetzt stehen sie vor dem König. So that would be now here, after they received all visions and dreams. Das right? wäre jetzt hier, nachdem sie alle Visionen und Träume erhalten haben. So this is now the final review after the investigative judgment. Das hier ist die finale Untersuchung nach dem Untersuchungsgericht. And it says in verse 19 and 20. And verse 19 and 20. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. So this is now when the king asks you all kinds of questions and he sees your wisdom. Right? Dann stellt der König alle Arten von Fragen und dann sieht er deine Weisheit. Yeah, because when you receive the letter rain here, you receive the wisdom. Right? Weil wenn du den Spätregen hier erhältst, erhältst du die Weisheit. And James says, ask ye wisdom of the Lord, right? if you like it. Weil Jakobus sagt, bitte den Herrn um Weisheit, wenn es euch daran mangelt. It's ask ye rain in the time of the... Das ist bittet um Regen in der Zeit des Spätregens. Okay, good. So, and therefore we saw these, these two judgments, one following the other. Hier haben wir also diese zwei Gerichte gesehen. Das eine folgt dem anderen. First the investigative judgment. Zuerst das Untersuchungsgericht. And then you have the final review, which is part of the executive judgment. Und dann die finale Untersuchung, die Teil des ausführenden Gerichts ist. And at the end the judgment is then executed. Und am okay. Ende wird das Gericht ausgeführt. Okay. Good. So now um, let's go to the notes. Gehen wir jetzt zu den Notizen. Because we want to look at a little bit more in detail at these two judgments. Weil wir wollen jetzt mehr im Detail uns diese zwei Gerichte anschauen. Let's first begin with the investigative judgment. Fangen wir zuerst mit dem Untersuchungsgericht an. And this is now uh, taken from GC, the chapter 28. Das ist jetzt Facing Life Records. Großen Kampf, Kapitel 28 entnommen, also dass man dem, den Aufzeichnungen. Lebensbericht oder so. Also dass man dem Lebensbericht ja. begegnet. Ja. Okay, so she says here, I beheld, says the prophet Daniel, till thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days did sit. His raiment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and the wheels thereof burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Daniel 7, verse 9 and 10. So this is what we looked at recently, right? Das haben wir uns vor kurzem angeschaut. Okay, but we need to understand. This is why she now refers to it here from the historical point of view. When the investigative judgment began on October 22nd. Aber wir müssen jetzt verstehen, dass Ellen White sich hier ähm, auf die historische Sichtweise bezieht, was am 22. Oktober 1844 angefangen hat. Okay, so she mentions here the Ancient of Days sits now on the throne and the books are open and the judgment begins. Also sie sagt, der Alter in Tagen setzt sich auf den Thron, das Gericht äh, setzt sich und die Bücher, äh, oder das Bücher öffnen sich und Jetzt fängt das Gericht an. But she now refers it here to the investigative judgment. Aber okay. hier bezieht sich sie, sie es auf das Untersuchungsgericht. So let's continue next to paragraph. Lesen wir den nächsten Absatz weiter. So as thus was presented to the prophet's vision, the great and solemn day, when the characters and the lives of man should pass in review before the judge of all the earth, and to every man should be rendered according to his works. The ancient of days is God the Father. 
So, in the investigative judgment, who's the ancient of days? Im Untersuchungsgericht, wer ist der Alter an Tagen? The father. Der right? Vater. Says the psalmist, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. It is he, the source of all being, and the fountain of all law, that is to preside in the judgment. So the father in the investigative judgment, which office does he have? Also der Vater im Untersuchungsgericht, welches Amt hat er? He's the judge. Yeah, he's the judge. Right? Er ist der Richter. He presides in the judgment. Er hat den Vorsitz im Gericht. And holy angels as ministers and witnesses in number 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands attend this great tribunal. All right. <clears throat> so the father is the judge. Der Vater ist also der Richter. So in the investigative judgment. Im Untersuchungsgericht. So father. Is the judge. Der Vater ist der Richter. Okay, let's continue. Next. Paragraph here. Lesen wir jetzt den nächsten Absatz. It says in the typical service, only those who had come before God with confession and repentance and whose sins through the blood of the sin offering were transferred to the sanctuary had a part in the service of the day of atonement. So she refers to the type in the Jewish system. Sie right? bezieht sich jetzt auf den Typus im jüdischen System. Only those that, only those that have become part of Israel. Also nur diejenigen, die Teil von Israel werden, durch die erste Geburt nach. So in our time, you'd have to be part of this movement in order to be. Yes, I mean you need to be born again in order to be to take part in the day of atonement. Okay. Also du musst von neuem geboren sein, damit du am Versöhnungstag teilnehmen kannst. Because it goes on to say, so in the great day of final atonement, in investigative judgment, the only cases considered are those of the professed people of. God. And she says a few paragraphs later, you must stand in the book of life. Okay. Ein paar Absätze später sagt sie dann, dass du im Buch des Lebens stehen musst. Okay. And when you stand in the book of life? Und wann stehst du im Buch des Lebens? No, when, yeah, when you're born again, right? Wenn du von neuem geboren bist. So when you have the first birth, your name is written in these books of Wenn life. Wenn du die erste Geburt hast, dann wird dein Name in das Buch des Lebens geschrieben. In the investigative judgment, it will be then seen whether you retained this. Okay. Aber im Untersuchungsgericht wird gesehen werden, ob du das dann beha also behalten hast. Okay. And then you receive the second birth. Und dann erhältst du die zweite Geburt. So, um, it goes on to say. Sag weiter. The judgment of the wicked is a distinct and separate work and takes place at a later period. Judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them uh, be of them that obey not the gospel? Okay, so the wicked are not judged at the same time as those that profess to be God's people. Die Bösen werden also nicht zu derselben Zeit gerichtet wie diejenigen, die also bekennen zu Gottes Volk zu gehören. In the term wicked here does not refer to the wicked of God's people, but it refers to the those that never profess to be part of God's people. Okay? Und ähm, dieser Ausdruck, die Bösen, bezieht sich nicht auf den bösen äh, Teil von Gottes Volk, also die bösen Leute, sondern ähm, diejenigen, die nie be also bekannt haben, also Gottes Volk zu sein. Yes. Okay, so the, those that were not part of the parables. Okay? Also diejenigen, die nicht Teil des Gleichnisses waren. Der Gleichnis. Ah, der Gleichnis. Yes, okay. So now let's continue. Next paragraph. Lesen wir den nächsten Absatz. It says Jesus will appear as their advocate to plead in their behalf before God. Okay, so in the investigative judgment, Jesus has which office? Im Untersuchungsgericht hat Jesus welches Amt? Der Advocate. Yeah, he's the advocate, right? Er ist der Anwalt. So he's your advocate and he pleads now for you. Okay. Er ist dein Anwalt und er pleads jetzt für dich. And he pleads in their behalf before God. It says so in your behalf he pleads before the judge. Okay. So deinetwillen, also für dich, pleads er jetzt vor dem Richter. 
goes on to say, Sagt weiter, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figure or the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Now let's read here Revelation 3, 5. Jetzt lesen wir Offenbarung 3, Vers 5. It says here, He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So who does the confessing here? Wer macht das Bekenntnis hier? Christ. Christ, right? Christus. Mm -hmm. So Christ confesses you before the Father and before the angels. Is Christus it? bekennt dich vor dem Vater und bevor den Engeln. And when does he do so? Und wann macht er das? During the... Okay, yes, but according to this verse first. Gemäß diesem Vers. At the end, when you overcome. Yeah, when you overcome, Wenn right? Wenn du überwindest. Okay, so you must have overcome. And it says, then he will clothe you with white raiments. Right? Du musst überwunden haben und dann sagt es, wird er dich mit weißen Gewändern kleiden. Zechariah chapter 3. Yeah, that's Zechariah 3. We come to this now. Und das ist Zechariah okay. 3, da kommen wir noch hin. And, and it says, he will then not blot out your name out of the book of life. Und es sagt, er wird dann deinen Namen nicht aus dem Buch des Lebens tilgen. But he will then confess your name before the Father and before the angels. Sondern dann wird er deinen Namen vor dem Vater und bevor den also vor den Engeln bekennen. So let's go now to Zechariah 3. Gehen wir jetzt zu Zechariah 3. In the Bible. In der Bibel. And so uh, let's begin in verse 1. Zechariah 3 und wir fangen in Vers 1 an. And we want to read down to verse... It says, And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Okay, so we have here the, the angel of the Lord, which is Christ, we have Satan, and we have Joshua. We have the angel of the Lord, which is Christ, and we have Satan and Joshua. Okay. <clears throat> And then in verse 2 it says, and, then verse two it, and the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Yeah, so the Lord speaking to Satan would be the angel of the Lord, right? But he says, The Lord rebuke thee. Referring obviously now to the Father, right? Aber er sagt, der Herr schelte dich und er bezieht sich natürlich auf den Vater. Okay, so therefore we also have the Father here in this illustration. Also okay. in dieser Darstellung haben wir auch den Vater. So therefore we can see this illustration here clearer. Here, the Father is the Judge, Jesus as the Advocate, and Satan is the Accuser. The accuser, right? Hier haben wir so den Vater als Richter, Jesus als den Anwalt und Satan als der Verkläger. One is or double is? Okay. Two x's. No, no, I was like, no, sorry. One is. Okay, me. Two c's. Keep the keys up. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, Satan is the accuser. Satan is the verkläger. So, in a worldly court illustration, right? And in einer weltlichen Gerichtsdarstellung. Yeah, you always have this. You have a similar illustration. Yes. Das war eine ähnliche Darstellung. You have a judge. Ein Richter. Then you have the the attorney. I think it is called right in English that accuses you. Okay. Staatsanwalt. Und dann ist der Staatsanwalt, der dich anklagt. And then you have the the advocate or the lawyer, the, the defender. Defense. Yeah. Hast yeah. du den Rechtsanwalt? Also ja. Yeah. Uh, that defends you against the accusations before the judge. Der dich verteidigt. Yeah, and Josh, then, exactly, Josh. then you have the accused one. Also okay. der dich dann vor dem Richter verteidigt gegen den Verkläger und dann gibt es noch den Angeklagten und das wäre Josua. 
So he's the accused. Also er ist der angeklagt. Accused one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so in this whole equation, we would be Joshua being accused by Satan. Jesus is defending us and the Father decides our case. Okay. Und in dieser Gleichung, also wären wir Josua, Satan klagt uns an und Jesus, der verteidigt uns äh, vor dem Vater, also vor dem Vater. Okay, yeah. and the Father decides the case. Ja, okay. der Vater, der entscheidet dann die, den Fall. Okay, so now let's go uh, back to Zechariah 3. Gehen wir jetzt zurück zu Zechariah 3. Verse 3 to 4. Vers 3 bis 4. It says, Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and will clothe thee with change of raiment. So, according to verse 4, what happens here? Give me verse 4, what happens here? All these accusations are removed. Yeah, okay, so he now takes away the filthy garments. Yes. And he now gives him this, these new garments. Yes. So just in your notes, go back to Revelation 3, verse 5. Also in eure Notizen geht nochmal zu Offenbarung 3, Vers 5. Revelation 3, 5. Offenbarung 3, Vers 5. It says, he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Right? So as soon as Jesus says, take away the filthy garments, give him new garments, this is when Joshua overcame. And then Jesus says, in the next bold face, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So, Soon as you have now the new garments on, the white garments, he then will confess you before the Father and the angels. Also, bald dann diese neuen Gewänder an hast, diese weißen Gewänder, dann ähm, wird er dich vor dem Vater und den heiligen Engel bekennen. Okay. Yes, everybody sees this. Kann das jeder sehen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So, if we go back to the notes. Gehen wir zurück zu den Notizen. And uh, just. Read also Luke 12, verse 8 to 9. Lest auf Lukas 12, Vers 8 und 9. Because there Jesus tells us when he will confess you. Weil hier sagt Jesus, wann er dich bekennen wird. It says, Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before man, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denieth me before man shall be denied before the angels of God. So he is now before the angels, right? He said this angels. But when you go to Matthew 10, 10 geht, verse 32 to 33, Vers 32 und 33, it says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before man, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Okay, so... And when you bring both together, you see he will confess you before the angels and before the Father. Right? Okay, so therefore this is this time in the investigative judgment where you need to make this final confession. Right? So, and through this confession you overcome and then he will confess you also. Okay. Durch dieses Bekenntnis wirst du überwinden und dann wird er dich auch bekennen. So, just go in your Bible to Revelation chapter 12. Und geht in euren Bibeln jetzt zur Offenbarung 12. And there we can see this confession that we need to make. Okay. Da können wir dieses Bekenntnis sehen, was wir machen, also geben sollen. Let's read verse 10 and 11. Offenbarung 12, Vers 10 und 11. It says, 
And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Who is cast down? Wer ist niedergeworfen? Yeah, here, this accuser, right? Dieser Verkläger. So he no longer accuses you now, because in verse 11 it says, Er verklagt dich jetzt nicht mehr, weil in Vers 11 sagt es, And they overcame him. So what are they now? Was sind sie jetzt? Overcomers, right? Überwinder. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death. So you are an overcomer through the blood of the Lamb and through the word of your testimony. Right? Das ist ein Überwinder durch das Blut des Lammes und das Wort deines Zeugnisses. So your confession of Christ even unto Death, it says here, also, right? Also, Christus bekennst sogar bis zum Tod. Because it says, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Weil okay? es sagt, sie liebten ihr Leben nicht bis zum Tod. And we know this is when you come, you're face to face with death, right? Und wir wissen, hier kommst du mit, äh, also von Angesicht, äh, von Angesicht zu Angesicht in den Tod. Ja, yeah. well, mit dem Angesicht in, in den Tod. Hm? Okay, so, therefore, if you stay the confession, you, at the end, you overcome, and then Christ will clothe you, with white raiments, and he will then confess you before the Father. Okay? Also, wenn du hier ähm, dann dein Bekenntnis gibst, dann äh, wirst du überwinden und äh, er wird dich dann bekleiden und dich dann vor den Vater und den Engeln bekennen. Okay, so, if you go back to the notes. Gehen wir zurück zu den Notizen. And let's continue the next uh, quote here from GC. Wir lesen jetzt das nächste Zitat von Großen Kampf. Still speaking here about the investigative judgment. Das spricht immer noch über das Untersuchungsgericht. It says, as the books of record are opened in the judgment, the lives of all who have believed on Jesus come in review before God. Beginning with those who first lived upon the earth, our advocate pres presents the cases of each successive generation and closes with the living. Every name is mentioned, every case closely investigated. Names are accepted, names rejected. When any have sins remaining upon the books of record, unrepented and unforgiven, their names will be blotted out of the book of life, and the record of their good deeds will be er er erased from the book of God's remembrance. The Lord declares to Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. And says the prophet Ezekiel, when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, all his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. Okay, so, um, so unless all your sins are repented of, uh, not, only your good, not only your name will be blotted out, but also all your good deeds will be forgotten. Okay? Es ist sei denn, dass äh, du von allen Sünden Buße tust, wird nicht nur dein Name ausgetickt, sondern auch alle deine guten Taten. Next paragraph. Next Absatz. All who have truly repented of sin and by faith claimed the blood of Christ as their atoning sacrifice have had pardon entered against the names in the books of heaven. As they have become partakers of the righteousness of Christ and their characters are found to be in harmony with the law of God, their sins will be blotted out and they themselves will be accounted worthy of eternal life. So, if you truly repented of your sins, also, what is now written against your name? Wenn du wahrlich von deinen Sünden Buße getan hast, was wird neben deinem Namen hingeschrieben? Pardon. Pardon. Vergebung. Okay. And then your sins will be blotted out, it says. Okay? Und dann werden deine Sünden ausgetickt, sagt es. So, just go now to the next um, quote just below. Geht jetzt zum nächsten Zitat, <coughs> gerade da drunter. Mm. Actually, you can skip this and go to the next one. Also, überspringt das und wir gehen zum nächsten. From Christ Object Lessons 169.2. COL 169.2. This is now about Joshua and the angel. Da geht es um Josua und den Engel. Uh, we can just read until the bold faced. Wir okay. lesen bis zum Fett gedruckten. 
So, so now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel, and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Now, uh, next paragraph. Next absatz. Notwithstanding the defects of the people of God, Christ does not turn away from the objects of his care. He has the power to change their raiment. He removes the filthy garments. He places upon the repenting, believing ones his own robe of righteousness and writes pardon against their names on the records of heaven. So what does he do? Was macht er? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so he changes your garment and he writes pardon against your name. Okay. And we read all those that truly repent of sin have pardon against their name written, right? Wir haben gelesen alle diejenigen, die wahre Buße wegen ihren Sünden getan haben, da wird Vergebung neben ihren Namen geschrieben. Okay. And then it says, he confesses them as his before the heavenly universe. So when he changes your aim, uh, garment and your sins are pardoned, now he confesses you before the heavenly universe, before the Father and the angels, right? Wenn er dein Gewand ähm, ja, wechselt und dann Vergebung schreibt neben deinem Namen, dann bekennt er dich vor dem Vater und den Engeln, also das himmlische Universum. Okay, so now go up again, the, the portion we just jumped over. Gehen wir jetzt hinauf äh, zu dem Zitat, das wir übersprungen haben. GC 483.3 also GC 483.3 It says, The deepest interest manifested among men in the decisions of earthly tribunals, but faintly represents the interest events evinced in the heavenly courts when the names entered into the book of life come up in review before the judge of all the earth. The divine intercessor presents the plea that all who have overcome through faith in his blood be forgiven their transgressions and that they be restored to the Eden home and crowned as joint heirs with himself to the first dominion. Okay, here it says, what does the divine intercessor say? Here sagt es, was sagt der äh, göttliche Fürsprecher? Or what does he plea? Oder was ähm, fleht er? Sie Oder bittet er? Vergeben, mhm. aber einfach in die Idee. Exakt. Mhm. Dass okay. sie vergeben werden soll und du nach Eden zurückgelassen sollst. Let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. Satan, in his efforts to deceive and tempt our race, had thought to frustrate the divine plan in man's creation. But Christ now asks that this plan be carried into effect as if man had never fallen. He asks for his people not only pardon and justification, Full and complete, but a share in his glory and a seat upon his throne. So therefore, before Christ can write pardon against your name, what does he do? Also before Christus Vergebung neben deinen Namen schreiben kann, was macht er? He intercedes for you. Yeah, he asks whether he can do so. Right? Er Fürsprache würde ich ja sehr fragt, ob er das tun kann. So therefore, who decides that Christ can write pardon next to your name? Also wer entscheidet deshalb, dass Christus neben deinen Namen Vergebung schreiben kann? Yeah, the judge, right? Der the Richter, father. Der okay. Vater. So he, he points to the father, please. Yes. He appears to and says, Remember, father, look what I did. And that's mm. the plan. Yeah. Let's point him to. Yeah, we yeah. come to this portion. Mm. Er weist dann seinen Vater auf diese durchstochenen Hände und sagt, ähm, Schau, das ist eben der Plan. Okay, so Jesus pleads and asks the father and says, Can I write pardon, basically, against their names? Okay. So Jesus fleht und bittet den Vater, ob er Vergebung neben ihren Namen hinschreiben kann. And then we saw that Jesus then writes pardon against your names and he changes your raiment, right? Dann haben wir gesehen, Jesus schreibt Vergebung neben deinen Namen und wechselt deine Gewänder. But it's only after, obviously, the Father gives him permission to do so. Okay. Und natürlich erst, nachdem der Vater ihm Erlaubnis gegeben hat, das zu tun. Okay, and once the Father gave permission and Jesus did this, then you have this new raiment and then he presents you before the Father. Okay. Sobald der Vater die Erlaubnis gegeben hat und Jesus das macht, dann ähm, wird dir dieses, äh, prä präsentiert er dich mit diesem neuen Gewand vor ihm. Okay, so just go also now, next quote, I mean the Christ Object lesson quote we already read, and just go to the quote below. 
Also jetzt gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat, also das Zitat von COL haben wir schon gelesen, jetzt gehen wir zu dem da drunter. Das When the third message closes, mercy no longer pleads for the guilty inhabitants of the earth. The people of God have accomplished their work, they have received the letter reading or the refreshing from the presence of the Lord and they are prepared for the trying out before them. So on and so forth. Now just go down to the next bold face there. Jetzt geht hinunter zum nächsten Fett getrunken. Christ has made the atonement for his people and blotted out their sins. So who blots out the sins? Wer tilgt die Sünden aus? Christ. Christ right? But he only does so after the Father gives the permission. Okay. Er macht das aber erst, nachdem der Vater die Erlaubnis gegeben hat. So Christ pleads, the Father says, okay, I accept it. Then Christ blots out the, the sins and writes pardon and gives you this garment. Okay. Also Christus fleht und ähm, dann gibt der Vater die Erlaubnis oder nimmt das an und dann ähm, schreibt Jesus die Vergebung neben deinen Namen und ähm, gibt dir die Gewinne. Yeah. Blots out your sins. Und trägt deine Sünden aus. Okay. Next uh, quote. Nächstes Zitat. Again, now back to GC. Das ist wieder vom großen Kampf. And this is now what Mark mentioned with the hands. That he shows to the Father. Und das hat äh, Mark erwähnt mit den Händen, die er dem Vater zeigt. It says, while Jesus is pleading for the subjects of his grace, Satan accuses them before God as transgressors. So this is now back where Joshua was accused, right? Also da sind wir wieder, wo Joshua angeklagt wurde. The great deceiver has sought to lead them into skepticism, to cause them to lose confidence in God, to separate themselves from his love and to break his law. Now he points to the record of their lives, to the defects of character, the unlikeness to Christ, which has dishonored their Redeemer, to all the sins that he has tempted them to commit, and because of these he claims them as his subjects. Jesus does not excuse their sins, but shows their penitence and faith in claiming for them forgiveness. He lifts his wounded hands before the Father and the holy angels, saying, I know them by name. So this now when he asks again the Father, please allow me to forgive their sins. Right? Also here, uh, bitte der wieder den Vater, bitte uh, erlaub mir ihre Sünden auszutilgen. Zu vergeben. Zu vergeben. I have graven them on the palms of my hands. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. And to the accuser of his people he declares, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? So this now, uh, the Lord will rebuke him when the Father accepts the plea of Christ, right? The Herr wird ihm jetzt ähm, tadeln, wenn der äh, Vater also die Bitte von Christus ähm, annimmt. Okay. And then it says, Christ will clothe his faithful ones with his own righteousness, that he may present them to his Father, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such things. Yeah, so here we see, after you receive the garment, then he presents you before the Father with these garments, right? Also hier sehen wir, dass ähm, wenn du das Gewand hast, dann präsentiert er dich vor dem Vater mit diesen Gewändern. Okay, so here she she mentions now that he presents then before the Father, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle, any such thing, right? Also hier erwähnt sie, dass er jetzt ähm, die diese Gemeinde vor dem Vater präsentiert, also als eine herrliche Gemeinde, die keinen Runzel oder Fleck oder solch ähnliches hat. And she quotes here Ephesians 5, verse 27. Und sie okay. zitiert Epheser 5, Vers 27. Okay, so just go in your Bibles to Ephesians 5. Jetzt geht aber in euren Bibeln zu Epheser 5. Let's look at this. Und wir schauen uns das an. And let's begin with verse 25 down to 27. Epheser 5 and verse 25 bis 27. It says, Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church 
and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he, that's Christ, might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So what does the Bible say? Where is this church to be presented before? Bis Vers 27. Also was sagt die Bibel? Wo soll diese Gemeinde, vor wem soll sie präsentiert werden? Presented to himself. Yeah, to himself, to Christ, right? Also er präsentiert sich zu sich selbst, also zu Christus. But here is why she applies it now, presented before the Father, right? Aber hier wendet er ein weites dazu an, dass es dass man vor dem Vater präsentiert. So obviously she just takes the principle and applies it now to the Father, but we, the Bible clearly says it's presented before Christ, right? Also die Bibel nimmt, ähm, also sie nimmt das Prinzip und sagt, man wird vor dem Vater präsentiert, aber die Bibel zeigt es eher deutlich, dass es vor Christus ist. The point is, I think that it's just, it's like one immediately follows the other, so he, as soon as he presents it to the Father, now it goes immediately into the final review and he's, he's presented it to himself, so it doesn't contradict anything. Yes. Also das ist dann eben eines folgt dem anderen sofort. Also sobald es vor dem Vater präsentiert hat, dann ist die finale Untersuchung, dann wird man vor sich selbst, äh, wird die Gemeinde vor ihm präsentiert. Yes, so let's look at this, okay? Schauen wir uns das jetzt an. So this is now the final review here. Das ist jetzt die finale Untersuchung. Not the investigative judgment anymore. Okay? Und nicht mehr das Untersuchungsgericht. So just go back to your notes. Gehen wir zurück zu den Notizen. John under the heading final review. Unter der Überschrift finale Untersuchung. John 5 verse 26 to 27. Johannes 5 verse 26 bis 27. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of man. So who has the authority to execute judgment? Wer hat die Autorität, das Gericht auszuführen? The Son. The Son. Right? Der Sohn. So therefore, in the final review, who is now the judge? Also in der finalen Untersuchung, wer ist dann der Richter? The Son. The Son, right? Der Sohn. Okay, so He's now. Immediately changes. I have the Son as the judge. Jetzt ist der Sohn der Richter. But in the final review, you have no advocate anymore. Okay. Weil in der finalen Untersuchung gibt es keinen äh, Fürsprecher oder Because Anwalt mehr. All is now decided, right? Alles ist jetzt entschieden. You have also no accuser anymore, he's cast out, we read, right? Es gibt keinen Verkläger mehr, weil wir haben gelesen, er ist hinausgeworfen. And also the accused one, he's now justified. Und der Angeklagte ist jetzt gerechtfertigt. Okay, so therefore you only have the judge. And you have now the, the one who's... The one who's sound that have not been justified. Yes, okay. Yeah, some... Because there's two classes in the final review. Yeah, that's true. Also es gibt zwei Klassen in der finalen Untersuchung. Manche sind nicht gerecht. Es gibt dann noch die Angeklagten und die Gerechtfertigten. Okay, so we have Joshua and Joshua would be now justified. Yeah, he would be the justified. Also Joshua, er wäre der Gerechtfertigte. But you also have uh, people that ja uh, yeah. okay, let's say Pharisee, okay. Und dann schreiben wir noch Pharisäer hin. He would be the condemned. Okay. Der wäre der Verdammte. So in the sense you also have a Pharisee here. Okay. Also in dem Sinne hat man auch hier einen Pharisäer. He's also the accused one, but he's, he will be... He defends himself. Yeah. Er ist auch der Angeklagte, aber er verteidigt sich selbst. He will not pass the investigative judgment. Right? Er wird das Untersuchungsgericht nicht bestehen. Okay, so <coughs> now let's go to this next quote. Gehen wir zu dem nächsten Zitat. You see this here, that Jesus now becomes the judge in the executive judgment or in the final review. Um das jetzt zu sehen, dass Jesus der Richter im Ausführen der Gericht finale Untersuchung ist. But the Pharisee is he not the accuser? Because it, when you go to you know when you go to Matthew 18, mm -hmm. the Pharisee is the accuser. He's playing the he, Satan is using him to accuse Joshua. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So you would, he would really be parallel with Satan. Yeah, but Satan's yes. not accusing him because he's using him. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. The Pharisee, he thinks he's just. He thinks he's righteous. Remember, and I think mm. he thinks like after all this. So, and, and Satan's not accusing him. He's the one that's doing the accusing on Satan's behalf. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But he's when he is partaking of the investigative judgment, he's also in some sense accused, right? Because his case also needs to be dealt with. So yes, I, I know what you want to say, but, but it, it, at the same time, only only if you accept. The, the, the light, if you reject the light, Christ doesn't even deal with you. He doesn't, you just, nothing he can do for you. Yes, yes, but I mean, there's a wicked class in the investigative judgment, right? That don't yes, pass he, it. He, he, that, 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 that doesn't go with the, the prophetic scenario, or what's all I'm saying. The, cu the accused is definitely Joshua, and Satan uses his agents, and the Pharisee is his agent that accuses. See? Yes. That's that's true. Okay, maybe it's in this illustration it's a little bit uh, confusing, but in some sense, uh, maybe, okay, because we have now Joshua here, uh, maybe in this sense it's accusing, uh, it's confusing. But there's a uh, unrighteous class that will also be accused by Satan, right? And they will not pass the judgment. Okay. But, but so, will will he accuse them though? This is the point because when you're doing his bidding. No, but he accuses everybody, right? He just wants to destroy you. He uses some, yeah, but he accuses them also. Yeah, right, to, yes, okay. He will destroy but, them. But, but the thing is, these is, represent something that's going on on earth. That's why you can't use that. You can't see what Satan's saying to Christ, but, but on earth, you, you have uh, the accuser is, is an agent, right? And the accused is an agent. The both accused is an agent of Christ. The accuser is an agent of Satan, and this way, this is how it's been illustrated. Yes, okay, that's true. But at, at the same time, uh, even the accusers, they will be accused by Satan and claimed okay, to be... Okay, but just not, not yeah. in this illustration, because it's on air. Okay, maybe uh, we can uh, think of a better illustration to show this, how there's also a class uh, that is accused here. Uh, that will not pass the investigative judgment. Okay. So, die Sache war noch mit dem Pharisäer, also das ist, passt nicht in dieser Darstellung, weil Satan wird ihn benutzen als der Verkläger. Ähm, aber es gibt vielleicht eine bessere Darstellung, ähm, was dann, wo man sehen kann, dass es auch eine ungerechte Klasse gibt, die dann das Untersuchungsgericht nicht besteht. Yes. Okay, but now let's go to this uh, next quote here. Gehen wir jetzt aber zu dem nächsten Zitat. And there we can read about that Christ is now becoming judge. Okay. Da, da können wir dann lesen, dass Christus jetzt der Richter werden wird. It says, the one who has stood as our intercessor. And where was he the intercessor? Wo war er der Fürsprecher? Im Untersuchungsgericht. So the one who has stood as our intercessor, that was here. Also das war hier. In the investigative judgment, right? Untersuchungsgericht. Who hears all penitential prayers and confessions, who is represented with a rainbow, the symbol of grace and love encircling his head, is soon to cease his work in the heavenly sanctuary. And this is when he, when the investigative judgment is over, right? Also das ist, wenn das Untersuchungsgericht vorbei ist. Grace and mercy will then descend from the throne and justice will take their place. He for whom his people have looked will assume his right, the office of supreme judge. Okay, so as soon as this is over, now Christ takes the role of the supreme judge. Sobald das vorbei ist, wird jetzt Christus die Rolle des obersten Richters einnehmen. And also in the next quote it says, Auch im nächsten Zitat sagt es, Then I saw Jesus lay off his priestly attire and clothe himself with his most kingly robes. Yeah. So the judge is always the king. Yes. Der Richter ist immer der König. So here now he's the king, he's the judge. Ja, yes, right? jetzt der König, der Richter. The point is with that Ephesians 5, right? It's right at the end of the investigative judgment who he presents you to the Father. As soon as he's done that, he flips off his robe, puts on the thing, and he just takes him to himself. So that's where he presents him to himself. So it's yes. like just one to the other. It's like immediately follows. 
der Feser 5, wenn er es dich vor den Vater präsentiert, muss dann am Ende das Untersuchungsgericht sein. Und sobald er das gemacht hat, wechselt er seine Gewänder und präsentiert dich jetzt vor sich selbst. Yes, because we saw yeah, Christ, he pleads first uh, to forgive your sins. The Father accepts the uh, petition. Wir haben gesehen, Jesus, der fleht äh, zuerst den Vater an, dass er ähm, to forgive the sins. Dass er die Sünden vergibt. And the Father accepts the petition. Und der Vater nimmt diese Bitte an. That it's right here at the end, right? Das ist ja hier am Ende. Then Jesus writes pardon against your name, clo uh, changes your clothes. Dann schreibt Jesus Vergebung neben deinem Namen und wechselt deine Gewänder. And confesses you before the Father. Und bekennt dich vor den Vater. And presents you before the Father. Right? Präsentiert dich auch vor den Vater. So then the investigative judgment is over, right? Dann ist das Untersuchungsgericht vorbei. And then immediately this takes place, right? Und das dann statt. And now Christ is the judge and he's now looking at you whom he just presented to the Father, okay? Jetzt ist Christus der Richter und jetzt schaut er dich an, den, äh, der, den, also er hat dich gerade vor dem Vater präsentiert. He just looks as if you've got the wedding garment on or not. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Also er schaut dann einfach, ob du das Hochzeitsgewand anhast oder nicht. So. That, that would show that Melzar and Nebuchadnezzar, they're, they're both Christ, but they represent two different works. So Melzar is the investigative judgment, and Nebuchadnezzar that's, that's is, what, is this judge, this yeah. king there. Also es wird auch zeigen, dass Melzer und Nebukadnezar beides das Werk von Christus darstellt, weil also Melzer ist das Untersuchungsgericht. So Melzer ist, wenn Jesus ist der Advocate. Also Melzer ist, wenn Jesus noch der äh, Anwalt ist. Und Nebukadnezar ist, wenn Jesus ist now the King. Nebukadnezar ist, wenn Jesus der König ist. Yeah. Okay, so and that would be then here Melzer and Nebukadnezar. Das wäre dann hier Melzer und Nebukadnezar. So just go also in, in, your, uh, in the notes again. Geht jetzt nochmal in den Notizen. To Jude chapter 1, so Judas 1, verse 24 to 25. Verse 24 and 25. It says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen. So here it again, he, he Keeps you from falling and then presents you faultless, faultless before his, his glory. Right? Also er bewahrt dich vor dem Fallen und dann präsentiert er dich fehlerlos vor seiner Herrlichkeit. So it's marking both yeah. phases of the judgment. Yeah. Yes, but uh, it marks again that he now presents you to himself. Okay? Das markiert wieder, dass er, sich, uh, dass er dich die, sich selbst präsentiert. That would be then here when you are now presented to him. Right. Das wäre hier, wenn du zu ihm präsentiert wirst. Also Colossians 1, 21 to 22, Vers 21 und 22. It says, And you, that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Okay, in whose side? In dessen Augen? Yeah, in his side, in Christ's side. In right? seinen Augen, also Christi. Okay, so again, you're not presented before himself. Okay? Jetzt wirst du wieder vor ihn selbst präsentiert. Be again here. Das wäre wieder hier. So now when Daniel and his companions stand before Nebuchadnezzar, he finds them ten times better. Wenn okay. Daniel und seine Gefährten vor Nebuchadnezzar stehen und er sie dann zehnmal besser vorfindet. Okay, also Romans 14, verse 10. Nach Römer 14, Vers 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Christ. So when are you in the judge, before the judgment seat of Christ? Wann bist du vor dem Gerichterstuhl Christi? The final review. Yeah, the final review. Yeah. Der finalen Untersuchung. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, because here Christ is no judge, not there. Okay? Ja, hier ist dein Christus. Der Richter und nicht hier. Hier ist der Judgment Seat of the Father. Hier ist es der Richterstuhl des Vaters. Also 2. Uh, Corinthians 5:10. Auch 2. Korinther 5, Vers 10. For we must all appear before the Judgment Seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. Bücher sind geöffnet und er sieht das jetzt. Okay. So, 
Now Daniel 1 you can skip, we already read this. Daniel 1 könnt ihr überspringen, das haben wir schon gelesen. But let's go now to Matthew 22. Jetzt gehen wir aber zu Matthäus 22. Verse 11 to 13. Vers 11 bis 13. And that's the parable of the wedding garment. Und das ist das Gleichnis des Hochzeitsgewands. And maybe just go in your Bible. Und geht there. in eure Bibeln dahin. Matthew 22. Matthäus 22. Let's read verse 1 and 2. It says, And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. So, who makes what for whom? Wer macht was für wen? King makes, a yeah. King makes a marriage for the son, the father for the son, right? Also der König macht ein Hochzeit für seinen Sohn, also der Vater für Christus. So the king in verse 2 is the father, is right? The judge. Yeah. König in Vers 2 ist der Vater, okay, der Richter. Okay, now jump down to verse and then he invites these guests, they don't want to come, right? Jetzt ladet er die Gäste ein, die wollen nicht kommen. And now verse 11 it says. Jetzt in Vers 11. And when the king, who? Der Christ. Der König. Yeah, the Christ. king came in, right? Also, der König kam rein. Came in to see the guests. He saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. So when do you have the wedding garment on? When hast du das Hochzeitsgewand an? When you stand an. before the final review before Christ. Exactly. When okay. du um, vor Christus in der finalen Untersuchung stehst. Okay. So because at the end of the investigative judgment he puts on this garment on you, right? Am Ende des Untersuchungsgerichts da legt er dir das Gewand an. And then. He brings you before the father, but immediately after, you're in the final review, okay? Dann bringt er dich vor den Vater, aber sofort danach bist du in der finalen Untersuchung. And in the final review, who's the king? In der finalen Untersuchung, wer ist der König? Christ. Christ. He Christ. Christ. Yes. Der Alter an Tagen. Okay, so now he comes and looks at you, just like Nebuchadnezzar looked at the Hebrew boys, right? Jetzt kommt er und schaut dich an, so wie Nebuchadnezzar sich die Hebräer angeschaut hat. And he looks at you, whether you have now on the wedding garment, whether you are now ten times better. Er schaut jetzt, ob du das Hochzeitsgewand an hast, ob du zehnmal besser bist. So let's confirm this here by Sister White Quotes. Lasst uns das jetzt bestätigen durch ein White Zitate. So just go back to the notes. Geht zurück zu den Notizen. And let's read this next quote here, just the bold faced. Wir lesen beim nächsten Zitat nur das Fettgedruckte. It says, The man who came in to the feast without the wedding garment represents those who violate God's law. And then the next bold face at the end. Das nächste Fett gedruckt am Ende. Therefore, when Christ comes in to examine the guests, the command goes forth, bind him hand and foot and cast him into outer darkness. Das ist das ausführende Gericht. So here we see Christ is the king who now examines the guests. Right? Hier können wir sehen, Christus ist der König, der die Gäste untersucht. And then he cast them into outer darkness. Und dann okay. wirft er sie in äußerste Finsternis. Those that don't have on the wedding garment. Diejenigen, die das Hochzeitsgewand nicht anhaben. And also in the next quote. Auf das nächste Zitat. Same thought. Selber Gedanke. Also just the bold face at the end. Wir, es reicht, wenn wir am Ende nur das Fettgedruckte lesen. It says, They may be seated at the supper table with others, but Christ will recognize them and will say to them, How camest thou in hither not having on a wedding garment? Okay. So we see Christ is the one now as the king. Okay, so therefore yeah, these, there's these two phases of the judgment. Wir können also sehen, es gibt zwei Phasen des Gerichts. And Jesus plays different roles in these two phases. Und Jesus spielt verschiedene Rollen in diesen zwei Phasen. But one immediately is followed by the other. Und das eine ist sofort von dem anderen gefolgt. So as soon as this ends, Jesus will take on this role. Okay. Sobald das hier endet, wird Jesus diese Rolle ein, einnehmen. And, and here we see the Father is the one deciding whether Christ can Blot out your sins or not? Okay. Hier sehen wir, wie der Vater entscheidet, ob äh, Christus dann deine Sünden austilgen kann oder nicht. 
And if he gives permission, Jesus will blot out your sins, he will put on the righteous garments. Und wenn er die Erlaubnis gibt, dann wird Jesus die Sünden auslegen und die gerechten Gewänder anziehen. Confess you before the Father. Er wird dich vor den Vater bekennen. And as soon as this is then taken place, this immediately will kick in. Und okay. sobald das stattgefunden hat, wird das sofort dann äh, stattfinden. And now you stand not before the Father anymore with the righteous garments, but before the Son. King and judge, right? Dann stehst du nicht mehr vor dem Vater mit den gerechten Gewändern, sondern vor äh, dem Sohn, also dem gerechten König. Yes. And then he will, just like Nebuchadnezzar, inquire of you uh, and examine you, that you and see that you have on the wedding garment. Okay? Dann wird er, so wie Nebuchadnezzar, dich ausfragen und ähm, ja, untersuchen, ob du das Gewand anhast. Just like when he came to, to inquire of the talents, right? Genauso wie als er wegen den Talenten äh, gefragt hat. Yeah. He also then inquired and account, wanted to have an account of what they did. Da okay. hat er sie ausgefragt und äh, wollte, dass sie Rechenschaft ablegen mit dem, was sie getan haben. Okay, good. So everybody can see this now clearer? Kann jeder das jetzt klarer sehen? Okay, very good. So, the was the points I wanted to share this evening. Das waren die Punkte, die ich heute Abend also teilen wollte. And then we can close with our prayer. Und dann können wir mit unserer Gebetsrunde abschließen.